All right, welcome back, entertainment daily lovers. Eaton red, brother. Eaton red, yawado gas. All right, so yes, Mr. JD's supporters are fighting. Okay, two fighting. Miriam Awalowa versus Kim Baker. It is going down. Welcome back, entertainment daily lovers. If you are joining us for the very first time, you're welcome. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on that notification bell because it is going down on this channel. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, so if you were on our live stream yesterday, you know that it was hot, hot analysis. We did the, anal the analyzing of the interview that JD supporter Kim baker the one you see right now in your screen yes that's kim baker the interview that she did with a youtuber called uh amora here on youtube right mm -hmm. and everybody had their own opinion okay if you've not watched that live stream yesterday after watching this video go catch up with that because it was hot okay we were on for many hours analyzing that interview listening to this woman put out her confessions and whatnot while we were doing this not knowing that some fans of miriam awalawa the other jd supporter which you will see pop up on your screen in a bit saw that interview also and decided to share the link or draw her attention to it and miriam went in listening to what kim baker had to say now you all remember that on that interview i was of the opinion that you guys forget the fact that this kim baker that did so much ham to Cora Obili. This Kim Baker that was in charge of the CPS case for Mr. JD, Justin Dean, the one you see in your screen right now. Mm -hmm, yeah. Came on this interview and was trying to play down on what she has done. If you follow the story from the beginning, you know that Kim was not forthcoming. She was doing the most, trying to act like I'm new to this. I wasn't long in the WhatsApp group. I only stayed for a little bit. The chat, my chat was few. I didn't say much. I didn't do much. I'm like, this lady is lying. This lady is lying. If that's what it is, why have you not posted the full complete chat from you people's private chat? to your social media let us see what you said we cannot work with just what you're telling us post it post it the way you've posted other things and so much more that questions that interviewer will ask her she was with amira that's the interview was done by amira here on youtube okay let's talk about it with amira but that's not just the main thing miriam awala was saw that interview and miriam flared up Miriam came on calling out Kim Baker, eh? the one you see in your face right now with this giant gilly on her head. Mm -hmm. This is Miriam Awalawa. Miriam Awalawa came out and called out Kim Baker that Kim Baker is a liar. She lied on that interview. Things she was saying wasn't matching up. That this is the same woman that the way this woman got JD's attention. That this woman came on that interview pretending that it was if JD was looking for her. You know that JD was looking for Kim Baker. But no, that's not what happened according to Miriam. That what actually happened is the fact that this woman came into that their WhatsApp group. And although Miriam is still pretending that she was not in this WhatsApp group. But someone else that she knows that these people added in the WhatsApp group. Screenshot everything. And that's how she got to find out what was going on in that whatsapp group but of course you know that they will all try to distance themselves now that cora has taken the main person that distributed that child mm -hmm, content on that whatsapp group and you know what it is anyways back to what we were saying so uh miriam said that this woman lied that this woman came in telling everybody on that whatsapp group that she has hired a private investigator a pi or uh that she paid about ten thousand dollars do you understand? So that's how she got Justin's attention. And then she and Justin started talking. So Miriam said all the talks and things that were going on, because she, Miriam, was very close to Justin. Justin would tell her, like, this woman said this, this woman said Cora is doing this, that the woman put a lot of fear, that Kim Baker put a lot of fear in the heart of JD. That at some point, JD was almost losing his mind, that it was all because of the things that Kim was actually telling JD. So she said at some point, she, Miriam, became suspicious and said to JD, give me this woman contact. 
let me check her out also let me see because her stories are becoming too bogus so i don't know let me just check her out so justin did and she checked this woman out and she saw that mm -mm -mm -mm, something is really up with this woman but anyway she just got in conversation she was talking with this woman and then kim baker told her this that she should let justin know that she kim baker fancies him and she was like when kim said this she was like now she understands why this kim is doing everything to try to get justin's attention why kim came in with that oh i have hired um uh a private ipi uh, private investigator for ten thousand dollars and every other thing that kim was doing is because kim fancies justin and kim wants to be close to justin and wants something from justin that's why kim was doing all of that that she is going to tell cora and everybody that nobody should be paying attention to kim because exactly what kim did to justin is what kim is trying to do with Cora right now with all of these things and I think Miriam said that because if you remember at some point Kim was telling the interviewer that she's got tons and tons and tons of evidence against the, all of them including herself and everybody that she would hand it over to Cora she has reached out to Cora but Cora never reached out back to her the interviewer even told her then you know that Cora has a lawyer why have you not handed those uh, stuff to the lawyer Kim came out with a bogus excuse the interviewer said okay why not hand it over to me I will make sure the lawyers get it uh, she was like you don't understand this is a, it's a multitude of evidence in there it's not a flash drive that I can just hand over someone needs to sign for overnight blah 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 this woman was saying some about the main thing that miriam awolo was saying i know that miriam is another liar on her own but i think miriam made a good point with this particular video in the fact that we can all agree on one thing all of them that are jd supporters are all liars they i told you people from the beginning that these women are not coming out because kim did a billboard people were trying to i said yesterday i was even saying it in the uh, this scene and sometimes in the chat was saying oh well she came out so let's i said look once you start looking at them or any one of them with that type of eyes you will start overlooking certain things and it will be brutal i i you know i love the fact that she said she reached out to cora and cora never reached out back and i hope cora will never make that mistake if there is any evidence that Kim Baker thinks she has that is going to help Cora Obidi's case. Let her hand that over to Cora's lawyers, okay? Because Cora said she has two lawyers, not just one, two lawyers on a retainer. So whatever evidence you have, hand it over to their lawyer and not waiting for Cora to reach out to you. So then you can now help to build jd's case because they will not get those evidence and say, Oh, look, she's communicating with people behind the scene to try to get uh things that are not true to try to tarnish jd's uh uh image and try to mess up with the case that is already in court with crystal because these women know that it is going to affect them somehow because when crystal knows that she's going down and she knows that she distributed those videos with the uh help of jd and all these women okay because kim also confirmed that jd has sent him videos of the children before this other one that is causing problem now so that's something that they're all used to receiving videos of those minors and whatnot and not seeing anything wrong in with them with that i told you that loneliness greed and more drove this set of women that went close to jd they all went for their personal reasons not because any one of them believed anything that jd was saying let me know in the comment section what do you think about this information that you just heard and don't forget to join us live because we will be dissecting that video that miriam did thank you so very much subscribe turn on your notification bell so you'll be notified